All right, so let's talk about the number system. In video one, I broke down the scale, all right? So I broke down the C major scale, and I gave you the name. I gave you the sound. So the name was C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's the name. The sound we did, we sang Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. That's what we sang. But then we also used numbers. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now those numbers are very, very important. Um, we use those numbers, especially in gospel music, pretty much to do everything uh, that we do. We use those numbers to build chords. We use those numbers uh, to use chord progressions. We use those numbers uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to to uh, deal with runs. We also use the number system as a form of communication. So if I'm playing with a bass player or another keyboardist, organist, and we're and we're in a band and we're, we're doing something on a fly, a lot of times we'll use the numbers as communication. So if we're in the key of C and the bass player doesn't know where to go, I'm telling him go to the two, go to the five, go to the seven. And when I call out those numbers, he knows in the C major scale, the two is D. He knows that the five is G and he knows that the B is seven in the key of C. Now, the reason why that's so important is because it helps us when we go to other keys. So let's say we have to, we're playing that same song and now we're in the key of D. And I'm calling him, I'm saying three, five, seven. As long as he knows the scale in the key of D, he knows exactly what I'm telling him to do. He knows that the three is F sharp. Uh, he knows that the five is A, and he knows that, this, uh, that the seven is C sharp, all right? So the number system also works as a form of communication. Now, let me go through... Um, and uh, let me just uh, talk about the number system as it works with this concept that you hear some people call diatonic chord theory and you know you, you hear all these different names but let's uh, talk about uh, uh, actually another name you'll hear is called the um, the Nashville system so some people call it the, the Nashville system uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go through every note of the of the scale so the one in C is C normally the one the normally you'll play a major chord on the one so the one is normally major so for in the key of C we know at least seven to eight times out of ten if we're in the key of C the one is going to be a C major chord the two is normally minor so what type of minor D minor so we go one major two minor a lot of times three is minor so since we're in the key of C the three is E so we'll play E minor chord the four is normally major so we will play an F major chord since we're in the key of C the five is major the six is minor the seven is of uh, the Nashville system and you know other you know diatonic chord theory says that the seven is normally diminished so we would play a B diminished chord and then we're back at the one and we're at that C uh, C1 all right or that or that C major chord so so let me give you the notes to every chord so C C E G D minor, we have D, D, F, A. On the E minor, we have E, E, G, B. So, on the F, we have F major, which is F, A, C. On the G, we have G, G, B, D. Then we have A, 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 a minor, actually, so A, A, C, E, B diminished, B, B, D, F. And then we're back home. So, and 
And so that's what I want you to spend some time and just practice. Practice your 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 basic chords using the number system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or we're back to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? We'll come back in the next video and we're going to take this to the next level.